Cruising on 7, brought to you by Auto Gallery Subaru, located at 609 Winnipeg Street, has an excellent selection of premium pre-owned vehicles for every budget, featuring Subaru's legendary and award-winning all-wheel drive. Auto Gallery Subaru will make your experience one to remember. Hey, welcome to Cruising on 7. We're at the Northgate Mall and with the Saskatchewan Ford Mercury Club. And of course, the show is brought to you by Auto Gallery Subaru. Chad Barnes has got a 64 Chevy Impella two-door hardtop, and I love the color. What is that color? It's called Hellfire Red. I bought this car back in 1984 oh um, when I was in Assiniboia. So um, it was 10 years old? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I bought it then, and I did a partial restoration then, okay. and I decided to redo it again in 2007. This time I did a frame off. Oh, you did a frame off? Yeah. Okay. So, kind of what theme are you following? Are you following sort of total restoration back to original, a little bit of hot rod? A little bit well, I did some subtle changes. I liked the original look, but did a custom color and yeah. I kept, kept the body and the interior all original, but made some upgrades, engine, drivetrain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, AC, all that. I noticed you got a little bit of a stereo thing hanging out in the back trunk here. What, what do you do yeah, here? well, it's a marine deck is what it is. Um, I didn't want to cut out the dash and put it in there, so I put it in the trunk. Okay. And I have a remote on the dash where okay. I can control it. Oh, why, why a marine deck? Because you know you might get moisture in the trunk or something? Well, like a marine deck has a remote so you can put it on the front oh. and you can hide your deck. So that's, that's, that's what I did here. So. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So this is a PPG color, huh? Yeah. Let's walk around and have a look inside here. So what about the interior? Was this uh, always the way it was? Or? No, the original interior was red. Red carpet, red, red seats, red, and red liner, everything. I actually like the white better, yeah. I think. You know? The reason why I went white is to offset the color of the car. Yeah, no kidding. Red and white, you cannot go wrong with that. Oh, my God. And what have you got on there? You've got Mr. Foose's wheels on there. Yeah. What are those? Those are Foose uh, Mandarays. Mandarays? Yeah, oh. 17 by 8s on the rear, 17 by 7s on the front. Okay. Okay. Can we close the door here? Is that yeah. okay? Yeah, let's come around and have a look at the engine here. What have you all done up here for goodies? This one has a 383-stroker engine uh, with a 700 R4 transmission and a 373 Posi rear end. And you got air in it too, it looks yeah, like. Vintage air. Vintage air? Yeah. This is vintage air here? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah you got it all chromed up or? That's, it's uh, it's uh, like a bill. It's powered. Uh, it's polished uh, aluminum. Oh, polished so, aluminum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, very nice. But it definitely keeps the interior nice and cool in a hot day. Hey, let's hear it right can hear it run? Yeah, I want to hear it run. It looks like a car that had, would have a nice sound to it. Alright, let's get a little bit of rev back here. Let's hear what it sounds like. Oh yeah, it's kind of sweet, huh? <laughs> Got the nice rumble, huh? Yeah. And it's not just it's not just choking, you know, it's just kind of rumbling, you know, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. better if you get that sound. Thanks for doing this for us. We Thank you. It. Gorgeous car. Hey, we're here with Scott Jenkinson. He's got a 62 Thunderbird. These were the years that they were really coming sort of styling kind of thing, and you've got one of them. Does this, The seat doesn't swivel on this one, does it? No, the seat doesn't swivel on this. I think they came out with that in the 64. 64, okay. Yeah. The steering wheel is, is fixed too? No, the steering wheel is a 
Pull the way steering column. Oh yeah, let's have a look at that. Open the door here, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. The door they're door. always they're always they're always oh yeah, they're always playing with the steering wheel of the look at that, huh? That was for beer bellies. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So tell us a bit about your car. Where did you get it from? I bought this in Wadena five years ago. Wadena, Saskatchewan. Really? Okay. Yeah. And why a Thunderbird for you? Always loved them. Did you? Always loved them. You're not a fan of the earlier ones, these 60s? Oh, the baby birds are nice. Yeah. But, you know, I was born in 55, so this car uh, was something where you I saw. really started to get into cars. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you could know. see it down, driving down the street and everything. Yeah. And, you know, it's funny, the Thunderbird marquee, it deserves to come back. You know, they brought it back. And then they kind of just let it go again, you know. It was a shame, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean really, you look at these cars. It's, what kind of engine has got in it? It's got the 390 in it. Okay. It's, it's all original. All original. So when, when you went up to Wadena, did you say Yeah, you Wadena. It? Was it, like, was, uh, tell us who the owner was there, what was going well, on Well, his there? name was Rob Little. Okay. And uh, I guess he went down to Jack uh, Barrett Jackson, and he bought himself a 60 oh. T-Bird. And the leather, uh, the plastic on the seats, and that was so thick. So, I mean, he paid a good buck for that. <laughs> and he said there was no reason to have two of them. Okay. So, so he, uh, he, he gave me a great deal on this, and I drove it all the way back from Wadena, a three hours drive and a six hour smile. <laughs> well, let's have a look at the front here, the engine here a little bit. Oh, yeah, you got her all cleaned up. Looks nice. Huh? This car is pretty much stock then. It is, it's all original. The carburetor I've taken out and had you know cleaned it. Um, yeah. New shocks, new brakes, um, gaskets. Of course, I'm gonna this year we'll probably end up pulling the motor and redoing all the gaskets on the motor. Yeah, but uh, other than that, uh, the bodywork is not the original color. Okay. It was, what was the sort of a, well underneath here you see it's sort of a beigey color a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's ivory white. Ivory white. Yeah, yeah okay, a little bit of a sense. tan in it. Yeah. Oh, but I think um, when I get my daughter to do the bodywork on it. What, is she a body person? She's an instructor at SAIT in Calgary. Oh, oh. In oh, auto body. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got an inside track then, huh? Yeah, so well, I think we're going to... She won't gonna mind working on this T-Bird either. Has no. she seen it? She's uh, going to get it when I die. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope that's a long time. It's already in that. my will. Oh, yeah. oh really? Oh, my God. <laughs> so I I'm, I think I'm going to go with their, one of the original colors of blue, the mid-tone oh, blue on it. okay. I call it the Blues Bird. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Geez, you got some of the or original brochuring too, huh? I've got the original sales brochures in the trunk. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, uh, yeah, it showed you different colors of the car, different colors of interior, um, oh, different, different motors, all the options that you could get with it, yeah. Yeah, was there a lot? A fair bit, yeah. Yeah, you could choose a lot of it. Five different colors of blue you could choose from. Oh, is this lady over here? That's your wife over That's here? That's my wife, yeah. Oh, there you go. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys have a lot of fun with this car cruising around, huh? Drove it up from Moose John. It was a nice little cruise. <laughs> a lot of people <laughs> waving. Thanks for joining us on Cruising on 7. Thank you. You bet. Oh, I bet they do. We're here with Garth Hordenchuk. He's with the Moose Jaw Shrine Club. And what do you got to, for us today? It looks like a Mustang or something. We have a 1964 and a half uh, Mustang. And uh, it's a player's edition. And What, what that, do you mean by player's edition? Okay. Yeah. Um, in 1965, the Player's Tobacco Company gave away six of these cars in Canada. And a lady from Moose Jaw won this car, so it spent its whole life in Moose Jaw. It got restored, I think, in the last 10 or 12 years, and the fellow who restored it uh, was kind enough to give us a very good deal on it so we could raise some money for the Shriners uh, activities. Oh, really? Yeah. Jeez, it's got the luggage rack and everything in the back. Yeah. You don't see that too often. No, and this one is, it's not a racer, it's just a six, uh, but just a cool little car. And uh, the deckling is uh, what makes it even more original, being that there's only six of them given away. Yeah. Yes. No, we had to get that reprint. Uh, the uh, a company in Moose Show does some pretty intricate sign painting and, and uh, computer work graphics, so they did that for us. Did you drive it up today? No, unfortunately, we trailer it only, <laughs> so we trailered it up. It's uh, it's kind of been around the southern part of the province. We've been down to La Flesh and Assiniboia. Of course, different events in Moose Jaw, and here today, this is a beauty for us. It fits our... Oh, yeah, the Ford Mustang thing. Yeah, yeah. So, what, what's the, the parameters of the draw? When is this all happening? Um, the uh, the draw will be on October the 5th. We have another big funder, fundraiser, a, a trip giveaway night. 
So we're going to have the car at that event that night inside, and we're going to draw for it at one minute before midnight. Okay. And uh, there's 5,000 tickets uh, printed, and they're $20 each, and uh, yeah. So. Oh, that's cool. So what do you, how have you been making out with ticket sales? Really good. We're uh, we're at the profit point, so we've okay. paid we've passed what we paid for the car, and uh, so we're probably about a little more than half sold right now. So we're doing good. Well, it's a classic car. Sixty five, did you say? Sixty four and a half. Sixty four. Well, this is like the original. The original originals. Oh. Oh. Here's six cylinder, and that's what yeah. they came up with. Yeah, yeah. and this he, is Lee Iacocca's dream. Yes, it is. That's true. Yeah. Another cool little tidbit about this car, I was selling tickets at the Moose Jaw Sidewalk Days, yes. and this uh, fellow comes up and he says, I'll take two tickets, one in my name and one in my mom's name. And I said, oh, you're a nice son. And he goes, well, my mom won this car in 1965, so now wouldn't that be something if she won it again? <laughs> so she's still got a little bit of hankering for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't meet her. I met her son, but yeah. Well, the six-cylinder, that's a nice car to drive around Oh yeah, it's a it's a beauty. We're having lots of fun with it. So who did the restoration work? You know? I, Rick Spangier is the guy's name. He owns Kathy's Custom Stitchery, I think, in Moostra. Okay. I think it was him. I'm not. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, that's good. Just give a little shout out. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for showing us the car, and maybe tell us a little bit what you're going to do with some of the money if you, uh, you know, get get a good sale on this thing. Well, what happens when Shriners make uh, money? 50% um, of our profit goes to Wawa, which is the provincial level, mm -hmm. and then that goes to the Shriners Children's Hospital, wherever it's needed, most often, in our case, to Montreal, but anywhere of the 13 hospitals in North America. And the other half of the money is uh, we get to keep locally for our club, and then we do events and support things in our community. Anything you want to share that you're doing? Or? Well, we're having a, we, we've got uh, right now, uh, a big part of us is the patient transportation fund. And we've got about 60 kids from uh, Saskatchewan, and I think there's six or seven right from Moose Jaw who are utilizing the Shriners Children's Hospital in various places. So a big thing that we have to do is uh, not only keep our hospitals rolling, but get people to the hospitals. So uh, so a lot of our fundraising goes so to that. wheels under people. Yeah, yeah, little, yeah. Little yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us on Cruising on 7, man. Take Thank care. Thank you. Appreciate Best of luck it. with it. Thank you. Auto Gallery Subaru, located at 609 Winnipeg Street, has an excellent selection of premium pre-owned vehicles for every budget, featuring Subaru's legendary and award-winning all-wheel drive. Auto Gallery Subaru will make your experience one to remember. Here's a look at some other car shows around Saskatchewan.
got two cars here. This one's a 79 Chrysler LeBaron. My mom bought that brand new, restored it three years ago. And we picked up that one last September, 2016 Dodge Challenger Hellcat. Um, I guess, uh, you know, is there a particular story with the, either of these vehicles? Like uh, Stupidity. <laughs> Well, explain, yeah. okay, explain this. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I know I'm kind of cheap, but yeah. just kind of explain that. Oh, that's the most impractical car, horrible on fuel, but I wanted one. I tracked one down and hard to find, and she wound up coming home after a year and a half chase. So did you, uh, like, restore it from scratch? or like, no. kind of, kind of? That one's only got uh, 14,000 kilometers on it. This one was restored three years ago, I think. But well, my mom bought this one brand new. Um, what are some of the features that you like about both vehicles? Uh, I just that was my mom's car, and that one's 707 horsepower from the factory. So it's kind of a mix of both sentimental and... I guess so, yeah. Okay, Ryan, we'll just talk about what you have on display this afternoon. This is my pulling tractor. They call it the Hellraiser. It's a 7,800-pound modified tractor class that we run in the Prairie Pulling League here in Saskatchewan. It's got a 526 cubic inch Brad Anderson Hemi in it, a Crower clutch, Eaton transmission and uh, Rockwell rear end in it. Just talk about what got you interested in tractor pulling. I saw my first pulling tractor in uh, what it been about 85 at Ken Boschman's house. And it kind of got me, uh, I've always liked them throughout all the years. And finally, it was a couple of years ago, I had an opportunity to buy one. So I bought this chassis out of a guy from Michigan, brought it home, painted it, put everything together as you see it here today. And now we're doing great with it. We won uh, a first place in Odessa on July 6th and uh, Kinnersley last weekend on July 19th and 20th. What's it kind of like when you're sitting in the in the tractor there and you're doing a heavy pull like that? What's it like for the driver? It's quite the experience. You don't even think of anything else in the world going on. As soon as you hit the throttle, it's noise and excitement and you just stare down at the end of the track and hope you'll make it all the way. And I guess, you know, at a car show like this when, you know, the majority of the vehicles are your Vintage cars, vintage trucks, what's it kind of like to bring out like a vintage tractor? What's kind of the reactions you guys get when you go to shows like this? Everybody thinks they're really awesome. They're, uh, there's nothing else like them in the world, really. Horsepower-wise and looks-wise. It's great to show everybody the different kind of motorsports in the world, and this is one of them. This is my two-wheel drive pulling truck. It has a 540 Chevy uh, with a Profab transmission. And uh, we started, well, my husband has been running for a couple years with his tractor and I was a little jealous. So I got this and this is what I used to go down the track. Um, we're part of the Prairie Pulling League, which is our league um, around here. So we pull within that with the other people what got you involved in terms of you know pulling in terms of the pulling tracks tractor pulling trucks what really got you involved in that uh, my husband has been pulling for a few years and so i didn't want to be left out so we got this there's something about the sound of horsepower and the power that goes with it going down a track that i just needed to be involved in that and you mentioned Prairie pull, pull in League. Just maybe just talk about how popular has it become? It seems like there's a lot more events in terms of pulling tractors, pulling trucks uh, throughout the province now. Um, the Prairie Pulling League, we have multiple classes. There are um, minis, there are two wheel drives, four wheel drives, there's diesels, there's modified tractors, there's super modified tractors, and it's a whole group of us. And it's not only the Saskatchewan people, it's all the Alberta people as well. And it's allowed us to expand 
It really has. Like now we're not just one or two events. We're a bunch of events that all come together and it allows more people to be able to go and do this. Like um, this is my first year and I've gone out to a few events and I've got a third, a few fourths, a fifth. So in, in a class where there's eight to 10 people, that it makes you feel good. Howdy, I'm Ken Boschman. I'm from Cormor Park, Saskatchewan, and this is my pulling tractor called Boss Blue. I've been tractor pulling for 42 years, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, having a good time here today. Uh, this is a really, really great um, car show that they have here at Watrous. I, I believe this is our 25th time here, and uh, yeah, there's some beautiful equipment here. It's, it's wonderful. You mentioned uh, pulling tractors for 42 years. Just talk about uh, how that has been for 42 years, because I'm sure, uh, like right now, that it seems to be more of a popular event. But I'm sure in years past that it's it, it must be a rare. It must have been a rarity of sorts to be involved in tractor pulling. Well, you know, uh, we have been involved, like I say, for 42 years, and we have never ever run on a tractor pulling. We have tractor pulled all over North America. Uh, we've been all across Canada and 42 states, including Hawaii. Um, whenever there was a lack of pulling here, we were in United States pulling, okay, or some other place, whether it was British Columbia or Ontario or wherever it was, okay, we were, we were always busy, okay. We've, we average uh, 50 shows a year. Uh, this year we'll probably be in, in the 75 range, and, and that includes show and shines. Tractor, uh, tractor pulls and parades we do, uh, customer appreciation days, any place where we can get exposure for the sponsors that we have, okay? And you mind just talking about the particulars about the tractor you have on display this afternoon? Okay, this particular tractor has been around for quite some time. This was the third in a series of tractors that I built. Uh, we actually built five, and this one was built in 1982. It's a, a 19, it's a 82 77-10 Ford, and it's got a, a, a 500 cubic inch Donovan Hemi, which makes about 2,400 horsepower, and uh, it, it's been around for a long time and, and has had many modifications. Every year we do something new to it. And uh, we have a, a lady driving it, okay? Uh, her name is Leanne Marin. And she has uh, been driving now for six years and doing a wonderful job. And that's probably what got Amanda interested in being a driver. Uh, and she's doing a wonderful job now too. Get your thoughts about obviously how the event has, I'm sure has grown over the years. Absolutely. It's it started out okay, uh, quite small. Okay, it it went uh, probably three blocks long. Okay, now uh, today I think there's 280 vehicles here. You know, and and there has been more than that, I believe, uh, a couple of years back. And uh, yeah, so it's grown immensely. Okay, and and the, and the quality of the vehicles has improved immensely since the first days. Okay, uh, you know, there's always been good vehicles, but. Uh, not in the quantity that they have here today. 25 of, of, the, of the 42 years, I've been a promoter, okay? So I put on a lot of tractor pulls. And uh, this May, I turned 75 years old, so I'm having a little trouble keeping up with the stuff I used to do. And I have some people now that have taken over some of the things that I was doing over the years, and, and that's a blessing for me. Um, I appreciate what they're doing. Uh, I help them out as much as I can and I will continue to do so.
Auto Gallery Subaru, located at 609 Winnipeg Street, has an excellent selection of premium pre-owned vehicles for every budget, featuring Subaru's legendary and award-winning all-wheel drive. Auto Gallery Subaru will make your experience one to remember.